July 17th marked the one year anniversary since Rex, Forever's founder and my father, passed away. In some ways it feels like it was yesterday. In other ways, it feels like it was a lifetime ago. Rex's influence and example is still felt every day as we all work together to continue to move forever forward without him. He is missed in so many ways. His morning greetings, his newspaper clippings, his sharp wit, his relentless drive, and his kind, inquisitive questions. I understand that there are many of you who never had the opportunity to meet Rex, but for those who did, I imagine you have your own favorite memories of him. One of Rex's expressions is never far from my thoughts, and I'm sure it's one we all are familiar with. The power of forever is the power of love. I have always loved hearing this, but it has taken on so much more significant meaning in my heart lately and has influenced me more than I expected. The power of forever is the power of love says so much about us as a company and as a global forever family. That statement acknowledges that the true value of forever lies in our ability to love what we do and to love each other. You won't see that taught in many business schools or MBA programs, but at forever, it's at the core of how we operate. With all that's going on in the world, it can sometimes be hard to feel a sense of love, but I believe there is more of it around than we think. In my day-to-day -day life, I witness many acts of kindness, support, recognition, appreciation, gratitude, and love. Yes, there's a lot of hurt and suffering, but there is also an overwhelming amount of good in this world. Instead of concentrating on the negative, I choose to focus on the wonder of human nature. I saw and felt this in abundance a couple of weeks ago on a trip to Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo with Cynthia and Garen. It was great to be back in Brazil. We met with some of our leaders and participated in an in-person success day for the first time in a couple of years. The atmosphere was electric. We laughed, danced, sang together. The Brazilian people have a prolific energy and a zest for life. They are warm, friendly, happy, and filled with love. As we recognize their successes and learn together, I was moved by the love in the room. Not only is it love for what they do and for the Forever products, but also a love for each other and the hope that Forever opportunity brings. I know what we do is not easy sometimes. Being a Forever business owner takes hard work, dedication, and maybe even a little bit of luck. But when it's done right, the results can be astounding. Forever gives everyone, regardless of background, social status, religion, race, or gender, the exact same opportunity to succeed. So as we move past the first anniversary of Rex's passing, the questions that echo within me are what can we all do to embrace Rex's proclamation of the power of forever is the power of love? How do we take those inspiring emotive words and apply them to our daily lives? While I cannot answer those questions for you, I can tell you how they impact me. Today I am more committed, more excited, more passionate, and more optimistic than ever to make Rex proud by doing everything in my power to continue to make forever the greatest opportunity in the world. I am confident that with you by my side and with Rex in our hearts, we will continue his forever legacy together.